family and friends and welcome to vlogmas number 13. So about a week ago, well maybe a week and a half ago, I put a poll on our Instagram which is two broke mice, you can be right here. Um, you can follow us on Instagram. So I did a poll to see if you guys want to see me make lady locks or boozy chocolate covered cherries. Well, 60% voted boozy chocolate covered cherries and 40% voted for lady locks. So that's how I got the boozy chocolate covered cherries. So I haven't made these in a long time. A few years back, I made them and hopefully you enjoy this video so welcome to my kitchen and yeah what else can I tell you about it well the recipe that I follow is my aunt Hazel um, my grandfather's sister so she will be my great aunt Hazel so I'm following her recipe today and I will put the recipe down below so if you guys are interested in making your own boozy chocolate covered cherries the recipe is the recipe will be in the bottom in the description. Also, I soak my cherries for over a week. They're very boozy. Um, so yeah, and you're probably asking, Melinda, what are you gonna do with all these chocolate covered cherries? Well, what I'm gonna do with them is I'm gonna make gifts for coworkers, for my bosses, um, just to thank them for doing everything they can to keep all of us safe. and you know they've been having a rough few months so I thought I'll give them some boozy chocolate covered cherries who doesn't like a boozy chocolate covered cherry so yeah so I'm just gonna narrate what I'm doing and hopefully you enjoy this and thank you ever so much for watching our videos if you like this video please give me a thumbs up it really really helps subscribe if you haven't subscribed and share this video if you think somebody that you know might enjoy watching this video or you think that might want to make some boozy chocolate covered cherries. You need three tablespoons of soft butter, three tablespoons of corn syrup, one fourth teaspoon of salt, two cups of powdered sugar, So I used a strainer to shift my powdered sugar to get all the little bumps out. You take your three tablespoon of soft butter, and this is where you wanna start adding all of these three ingredients together. This is the salt, then we add our three tablespoons of corn syrup, Mix these three ingredients up to make a nice creamy paste to add to your two cups of powdered sugar. So just keep working that paste into the two cups of powdered sugar until it becomes a nice, soft fondant ball. So I'm gonna use two pounds of almond bark and some white chocolate to cover my cherries. Then you wanna drain the liquor off of your cherries. I love using rum. You can also use vodka or tequila. So once you drain your cherries, you wanna Line a cookie tray with some paper towels just to get the extra liquid off of the cherries. Then you take your fondant and you want to measure out one teaspoon little balls. Then 
then I like to roll out the little balls because it's easier to wrap it around your cherry. As you can see, I like keeping the stem on my cherry so that way it's so much easier to dip it in the chocolate. Once you have your cherries covered, then you want to take the cookie tray and stick it in the freezer for about mm, three to four minutes. Then once your cherries are nicely frozen, then you're ready to dip them in chocolate. I like to double dip my chocolate covered cherries because you let them sit out for two to three weeks so that way the fondant around the cherry will liquefy. And just in case you have a little hole, I don't like having any leaks. I love drizzling white chocolate on my cherries. They make them look so beautiful. So I bought these cute little cookie boxes to package my chocolate covered cherries for gifts. down below if you've ever had a boozy chocolate covered cherry. Till next time, remember you're never too old to make Christmas candies.